Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about decorators again. I've done a few videos on decorators. I will link those in the description. Uh, and specifically, we're talking about functools.wraps, which is the also a decorator, <laughs> the helpful decorator used to make sure that you're forwarding name, doc string, and other stuff like that to the wrapped function or class. Well, it doesn't really work for classes, except I will show you how to make it work for classes in this video. All right, so we are going to start with a decorator. Uh, I'm just going to call it deck. It is going to take in a class, and we're going to make a new class as a result. Uh, <laughs> I was going to type the type annotations. They're a little bit tricky, so I'm going to skip them for this video. Uh, but if you are making a class decorator, you will make a new class, which extends the original class. And let's just say decorated equals one or something like that. True, sure, whatever. And then you will return that new class as part of your decorator. So if we were to do deck on class C, which says, you know, hello equals world, and then try and interact with this class, dash uh, it dot pi. Oops. Great. If I could uh, write code correctly, <laughs> uh, if we look at our class C, you'll see that it is actually this weird deck dot locals D and has the name D, which is the name of our inner class. We really want it to have the name C, and usually the way that you solve this with uh, decorators is to use functools.wraps. And so if we try and use functools.wraps, import functools, functools.wraps, warps, <laughs> wraps class. Uh, this is how you would do it with functions, uh, but we'll notice that it doesn't work with classes. Get this weird attribute error mapping proxy object has no attribute update, uh, which is annoying. Uh, the fix for this is to say updated equals empty tuple. And this will prevent functools.wraps by uh, from reassigning or attempting to reassign double under dict of the class. Now, if we run this, uh, you'll see that C looks like C. Uh, but it also happens to have our decorated attributes. You know, works properly, maintains the doc string, the name, all the other stuff that you would need. Uh, but yeah, little little teeny hack, and now you can use functools.wraps even for classes. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.